Hello, welcome back to Summit Tutoring. I am AJ Singh. Today we'll be discussing linear inequality word problems. All right, let's dive right into it. An insurance agent sells an insurance policy with an out-pocket maximum of $5,000. Out-of-pocket expenses include any deductibles and coinsurance that the client pays beyond the normal monthly premium. The client has a deductible of $250. This means the client has to pay all of the first $250 of expenses insured by the policy. After that, the client has to pay 20% coinsurance, meaning the client pays 20% of the insured expense and the insurance company pays the remainder. Which inequality represents how much the total insurance expense, X, could be if the client has not yet reached the out-of-the-pocket maximum? Okay, let's see. All right, so let's let's write down the most the key parts, right? So there's an out-of-pocket maximum of five thousand dollars, and there's a two hundred fifty did um, copay. Sorry, deductible. So they have to make this um, this payment, and there's a twenty percent of whatever is not in that $250. Okay, so the way we could represent that, the 20% could be represented as 0.2, and the rest could be represented as x minus 250 is greater than, because it has to be greater than $5,000. Okay, so then we'll minus the 250 from both sides. Four thousand seven fifty, and then we get two x minus two fifty. All right, and that would get us two point minus two fifty is less than four thousand seven fifty. All right, then we could divide the point two by both sides that because this is multiplying we can just cross these out and we would get 23 750 is greater than x minus 250 and that would leave us with x is less than Twenty-four thousand dollars. So X must be less than twenty-four thousand dollars. So this would make us out of pocket maximum. That would that would reach that. So that's the answer to that one. That was a little bit more of a tricky one. Hopefully, yes. The next one is easier. All right. Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Jonane and Richard volunteer at a hospital. Jonane volunteers four hours more per week than Richard does. In a given week, they do not volunteer more than a combined total of 16 hours. If X is the number that um, is the number of hours that Richard volunteers, which inequality best models the situation? Okay. So, Richard volunteers X amount of hours, right? And we know that jo Jonane volunteers four more. So we can do X plus four, right? And if we combine these together, we get X plus X plus four is less than or equal to 16, indicating by the 16 hours. So that gets us 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 16. 
So this inequality models the situation. All right, on to the next one. So first we need to find out how much percent decreases a year. So what we could do, because this is in a linear fashion, 75 minus 32 over 5. Because 5 represents the amount of years. And this is the end. And this is the start. OK. And we'll get 46, 5y. All right. We know it starts at 32. Now it starts at 32, so we can just add 32 on this side. And it's asking us when it first exceeds. So, go like this. Get this greater than, and it needs to exceed 60%. So let's do the math here. And that's 28 so we minus 32, we get y, 46 over 5, and then we will divide 46 by 5, 46 by 5. So we cross these out, and remember, dividing fractions is as easy as pi, flip the second number and multiply, or just use a calculator, <laughs> which in this case we're allowed to use calculators. So that would leave us with 3.04 over, I mean, is equal, I mean, is less than x. No, sorry, y. All right, but we're not done yet. We know this is how many years it will take from the starting value, which was at 2010. So what we need to do is we need to add 2010 plus the 3.04. And that will leave us two, 2013.04, or we could just say in 2013 it will exceed it. So that's the right answer. This is the year it will exceed it. All right, on to the last question. Here we go. And the Zamboni is an ice ref resurfacer invented by Frank Zamboni in the year 1949. To clean and resurface the ice in the skating rinks, a Zamboni takes 20 minutes to resurface an Olympic-sized skating rink. What is the minimum number of Zambonis working together at the same rate that could resurface an Olympic-sized skating rink? and five minutes or less. So we know one rink, oh, sorry. let's look at the rate. So it takes in one rink, right, it'll take us 20 minutes. All right, and then using the same logic, if one rink takes 20 minutes, we could say Z amount of rinks takes 20 minutes. So the more we add, the double the speed we'll get. So how can we uh, put this into practice? So we know that if we want it to be five or less. So we know we want to finish only one rink. And it has to be greater than equal to one because we want it to be less than five or equal to five. That's why we have the equal sign. And then we could do Z over 20 minutes. And we'll multiply that by 5 minutes. OK. And then we could do this. We could do 5z over 20 minutes, over 20. And we could simplify that to 1 over 4. All right. So we get z over 4 is equal to or greater than 1. So remember, when we divide and we're working with inequalities, 
the sign flips to the other side. So we will get 4 is greater than or equal to z. So in other words, it will take a minimum of 4 machines to complete it in 5 minutes or less. 4 is our answer here. I hope today's review of linear inequality word problems was helpful for preparing for your SAT. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or if you'd like to reach us, uh, reach us personally, you could join our Discord and message one of our tutors. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe button and turn on post notifications for more upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next video.